Hi, I'm Cheryl Ann Welch. I am the Artistic Director for the Belmont Dramatic Club. We are getting ready for our spring show. It's Belmont's 268th production, Ken Ludwig's Baskerville, the, a Sherlock Holmes mystery. It is five people playing 30, over 35 roles. And there, it's quick change, quick hats, quick everything. Uh, Ken Lidwig did it this way because he wanted the audience to almost participate. They're going to see the set changes, the costume changes, everything pretty much goes on stage. Um, and we chose it because it's a comedy, because it's lighthearted, and it's just a fun show to be back here at the town hall with. Making a revenge on the evil Baron Scott, acting out the kind of ruthless murder that becomes part of our daily lives. Hello there, my name is Sam Deans, and I'm from the town of Parts Unknown. And I am going to be playing your Dr. Watson. <laughs> Anyways, I'm very happy to be playing Dr. Watson because I believe Dr. Watson brings a lot to the show. Even though he's not Dr. Holmes, he's Dr. Watson. <laughs> You know, you like Dr. Watson. Everybody likes Dr. Watson, right? Right? I sensed we were on the verge of another one of his strange roller coaster adventures. I also knew that tobacco was the engine he required at these moments of intense mental concentration. So I stopped at Bradley's. That will be two and six pence for the best chap tobacco in the country. Uh, Curtis Eames, uh, I am playing actor one, and I think I play 15 different people. I probably have to change back and forth about 30 times. I think I lose about 10,000 calories a show. It's crazy because, um, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's like uh, you take a Sherlock Holmes book and throw it in a blender with Monty Python, and that's the show. So, it, and, but it's... In terms of doing it, it's kind of madcap and crazy. Like for my part, like I run off stage and I'm, I'm not sure who I am next, literally. So it's a little schizophrenic. Like you know, I, I run off stage and I go from being a servant to a deaf Cockney woman to the doctor to a trap driver to the conductor and uh, Castilian desk clerk with the silly accents and all that stuff. So you know, getting used to the show is. It's a little more work than usual because y you're not the same character the whole time. Uh, we try to keep up the wrist and the radical that you know. This is the most proper hotel in all of London. You should come see the show because whether you're interested in Sherlock Holmes or not, or know of Sherlock Holmes or not, it's it's got an equal part of interesting mystery, but with lots of humor, et cetera, as you watch uh, some of the actors struggle to get the story across, um, playing, you know, multiple characters all at once, but it still is in, an interesting mystery on top of it. They don't throw away like the original source material. So it's just as much kind of mysterious and suspenseful in some ways as it is just really silly. So if you're up for all that, you know, it's definitely the show to go to. No, no, stay back. Shh, stay, stay where you are. Shh.